this year, we decided to teach MSC 220, our introductory materials course, in a different way than the traditional lecture style. This year, we taught the course without any lectures, without grading homework, and without giving exams. The idea was twofold. We wanted to introduce lots of active learning in the class, and we wanted to get rid of assessment, summative assessment, in favor of formative assessment and feedback. I definitely have learned more in this class than I've learned in any of the other classes I've taken here at the University of Michigan. Uh, not to mention, I just have a deeper understanding of the material as a whole, which I didn't have in my other classes. Before coming to class, the students read the book online in a special website where they could highlight parts of the book and annotate it. They could see the annotations that all the other students were putting in as well as their own, and they could annotate other students' annotations. This way, when they got to class, they had not only read the book, but they had read the book critically. But what I really liked about it was when I read the course page, just the whole like way that the course was going to be taught, and after going through all like the little mini tabs on the course page, it really seemed interesting, and that's what really like brought me to the course. And from that, it was everything that I expected, and even a little bit more, because I wasn't expecting to um, use like the whiteboards or have that kind of group interaction. I thought that it would be more like the group presentation, but the outside work would be individual. Whereas I found a lot more, um, like I would find myself helping, find myself asking other people like to help me with the problem or how they did it, and that really like made the class easier to sort of understand the materials. During class activities, the students worked in groups with whiteboard solving problems. I walked around the room along with all the graduate student instructors, but this year we did something a little different. We also hired instructional aides, students who took the course last year and just learned the material recently so that they would be able to engage better with the students than we could. Okay. So having taken this course um, last semester, um, I really could relate to the material that they were, they were looking at and I really knew where the struggle areas were. I knew the hard chapters and the things that caused me problems, so I was really able to help them with those small issues, the things I used to help me get through those hard times. I mean, the students, of course, are very resourceful. Uh, the most, um, the exciting thing to, to watch was just when they have that moment of clarity and they're able to come to a solution of something, but also the creativity that this, this, this class um, allows because things aren't just strictly by the book. They're learning from each other and building on, on each other's experiences in class. And we, we saw this especially with the projects. The projects so far have been out of this world in comparison to the classes that I went through when I was in undergrad. And this is a sophomore level course. I'm an aerospace guy, right, and um, I definitely developed a much greater appreciation for my profession um, and the role of material science in my profession. This year we introduced projects, group projects, that the students really, really enjoyed. This added a whole new dimension to the course that never existed before. I think probably the highlight of the semester was the superhero projects. That was really cool because the students could take what they had learned so far in class and those concepts and those things and apply it to a creative project. So we were tapping into their science brain and their creative brain. So it was nice to see the two come together. I thought the projects were really fun because they were a lot more creative than other projects, um, especially in engineering. Um, like the superhero thing was pretty cool and then um, I really liked our last project with the film because I haven't made any sort of like filming things since high school and those are a lot of fun. So it was nice doing those things. I think, I think the coolest thing I saw was students staying after class. Uh, so we've had three projects throughout the semester and it was really cool seeing students stay over class way past when they needed to uh, because they really cared about the projects. And the one thing I really liked about this class was the fact that I got to talk to my instructor or GSI every single day. And if I didn't know something or didn't understand something, I could ask a question immediately. That's not something I can do in another class, and it's one of the reasons I love this course.